in this short video something about the default search location. So when you do question mark, you open the simple search and you can start to type your search. Now here at the top, you see search in the current document only. Now I often see people who have here all documents as default. I don't advise to do this because nine out of 10 times you are searching in the repertory only and you want to find quickly the rubrics in the synthesis for a certain word. So if here is not mentioned search in the current document only, go to the local options in the search window, then select here, always search in the same place and change this to current document only. Okay, I close here my local options and then it will work as follows. If I'm here in synthesis and I type question mark or you can do on the keyboard also the F4 key or in the left upper corner here you see you can do here the F4 or click on the main button also. So again I'm in the repertoire, I do question mark, I open here the simple search and I can type my search. So for example the word injure, enter, enter and I will see in the whole repertory all rubrics with the word injure and also the other variations. You can check this by a right mouse click or on make a secondary click on the word and you can see on which root and branches it is searching. Okay, let me click here on the repertory and I do it again. Now I want to search all rubrics for a certain remedy in the repertory. I do question mark, then I can start to type the remedy abbreviation. So I type sepia, S-E-P. Now from this list, I should not select one of the words which are black, but one of the words, let me go here, one of the options, right here it is, one of the options behind it, between brackets, remedy. And you can reach this more quickly by typing a dot. So when I type SEP dot, you will go immediately to this option with remedy behind it. Now this will work for almost all remedies, uh, but not for example APIS or HURA, which are not abbreviations. So when I do enter, enter, I will search in the current document, that's the repertory, and I will find here all rubrics, all symptoms with the remedy sepia in it. Now, if I want to limit this search, for example, here rubrics of 284 is much too big. So let's say I only am interested in rubrics not larger than, uh, let's say, 10 remedies. I do here right mouse click on the sepia opisinalis or on Mac a secondary click. And I select here this options rubrics containing less than or equal 10. I say OK, then I start the search again by clicking on the search icon. And I have here only rubrics with maximum 10 remedies. OK, let me go back to the synthesis. I can do the same for a family search. So let's say I want to search all uh, rubrics in the repertory where at least one Solana Sea remedy is present. So I do the same, I do question mark, then I start to type the family name, Solana, and from this list I don't select here one of these black words, but one with behind it between brackets, family. And I press enter, or in the left upper corner I can click here on this search icon and it starts my search. And here it is, these are all rubrics with at least one Solana Sea in it. Now if I want to specify this some more, I can do a right mouse click and or on Mac secondary click and I select here for example, let's say I want all rubrics with at least four Solana Sea. Sorry, this is the wrong one, this is the rubric size, no, I want this one, rubrics with more than Four. So I select here rubrics with more than four remedies and 
Okay, let's say I don't want rubrics with more than 100 parameters. So I say uh, the rubrics must contain less or equal 100. So I do OK. I click here to start my search. And let's see if it will find anything. And here there are. There are 23 uh, symptoms left where at least, what did I say, uh, four Solana Sayer remedies are there. Okay, so that was it. So make sure that you use the search in the current document as your default search location. Now, if there is anything which you cannot find and you want to extend your search, so let me click here on the eraser. So let's say I'm searching for a, a feeling as if ice cold needles are piercing in my head. So I do ice, enter, and cold, and head, and enter, and enter again. And it will search in my repertory, so in my current document that is my synthesis. So let's say I went through these rubrics, but it's not really what I want then you can simply extend your search by clicking here, for example, on All Documents. And let's see. Then here at the left, you will see the repertories and all the other reference documents which has found this combination of a eyes, cold, and head. Now, if you do not want to click here at the left on each individual document, to see what it has found. You click here on View All Documents. It is View All Documents in one list. And then you will get here at the right side one long list. And for users of the radar and EH, they are more accustomed to this view. OK, let me show you something else. I click here again on the eraser. I can also search for remedies which are in a certain case. Now let's say I'm studying a certain remedy and want to read a few cured cases of a certain remedy. So I start to type here, for example, silica, S-I-L, and from this list I don't select, like before, a remedy, silica, but I select here case remedy. So let me search. Here it is. So silica terra case remedy. So I click on it and then I press enter. And as you see, I'm still searching in all my documents because in the repertory would not have found anything. Now here you see all my documents where something is uh, indicated as a case for the remedy silica. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is you can also search for a pathology. So let's say you want to study something about a certain pathology. So I do, for example, measles. Measles. Now here you look at the brown options where there is behind a pathology. And you see there's also case pathology, so a case about measles. But here I select this one measles pathology and if you look carefully you will see several with pathology it means these will come from different uh, documents so from different books these are uh, chapter headings of certain different of different books so you will need to search for all of them so I can search for example I select this one measles pathology and press enter and I'm still searching in all my documents and you see here at the left all documents uh, with a certain pathology measles so for example here the Clark prescriber or here Douglas skin diseases etc well I think this is enough for this short video